What's up guys, welcome back to Goshen's Games. I am Goshen and today we are doing an unboxing video guys. An unboxing, um, excuse me, you know, for what I'm wearing, it's hot outside guys. It is, it is summertime, it's in Florida, it's hot. So we're doing an unboxing guys. Um, today we are unboxing Mugen Souls. Um, now when I, when I ordered this, I ordered this a while ago guys. I ordered this a while ago, I never opened it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open them. So, uh, when you place the order uh, back, whew, I don't even remember. Um, this is through Nis America, guys. Nis America. Let's see, focus right there. Nis America. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. Um, so, when you order this through Nis America, you actually get two boxes. You get the box, the collector's edition box, um, which also, guys, was available at GameStop, by the way. Um, not anymore. And then you had this box here that uh, that came with two figures okay so we're gonna open this as well um, the figure box did not come uh, or was not available by GameStop um, but this was so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, it'll be the first time I'm opening this uh, come on come on plastics are like so tough I'm just like trying not to okay there we go I'm trying to open it without like damaging the box or anything um, Alright, so here we go. Okay. Wrapper's off. So, let's open it up for the first time. That way we can see what's inside it, because I've, like I said, I've never opened this up before. Alright, so there's a few things here. A few things here. Um. Random stuff to be honest. We got a body sponge, which I don't think would last for anything. Body sponge. A little, little weird. Looks like a bunny or whatever. Um, washcloth. Oh, a handkerchief. It's supposed to be a handkerchief. It looks like a washcloth. It's supposed to be a handkerchief. It's supposed to be a handkerchief. Um, visual guidebook. Visual guidebook. Ooh, nice and crisp. Um, which is usually, usually visual guidebooks mean um, art books, guys. Art books, that's what a visual guidebook is. Um, sometimes in these, though, sometimes they have, like, strategy guides for, like, the beginnings of the game. Um, in this case, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's, um, it's just, it's art book. That's what it is. It's an art book, guys. Um, Mugen Souls, I believe it's it's like a role-playing fighting style, stylistic RPG. Um, this is more of the images on the inside. Let's get, get the picture right there. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a very stylistic fighting style type RPG, so to speak. It, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I've, I've never played it, um, so I, I will I will get to playing this. Um, once, once I, you know, finish Persona or something, I'll get to playing it. Um, but, you know, and then obviously the game, which I think has a soundtrack attached to it. Let's take a look here. If it is a soundtrack, then I will be, uh, putting some of the music with this game, or with this video, I'm sorry, from the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and take a quick look. Let's open this up. And guys, by the way, this was on the PS3. There is a sequel. There is a sequel um, called Mugen Soul Z, <laughs> which is kind of funny that they did it like that. Um, I guess it's a play on Dragon Ball. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so it says, turn everything into your loyal peon in this over-the-top, overwhelming RPG. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the back of this, which I'm sure is on the back of the game as well. Uh, let's see, what is this? The music of Mugen Souls, as performed by G Castle. Shampoo Philharmonic. <laughs> okay, so the bunny things are supposed to be the ones who perform music. But yeah, okay. So, this is a soundtrack. Uh, 20 songs. Nice, nice. That's actually, not, that's actually a decent soundtrack there. Um, yeah, there's the CD. Um, I like... See, I like soundtracks that, that have a good amount of tracks in them. I, I don't like uh, soundtracks that are just, oh, we're going to throw in five songs and call it a soundtrack. Um, and then, like, I guess a little bonus um, 
little bonus art book attached to it as well, which is actually pretty cool. I like I like the art of this. I mean, the, the art of the the JRPGs. I, I, that's why I love playing JRPGs because they're, they're so they're so colorful. They're so um, over the top in some of them. Uh, you know, because you have some you have some JRPGs that are very uh, down to earth. Like um, Final Fantasy 15 is kind of a down to earth style RPG, very realistic. Um, you know, which, which is actually really cool. That's, that's one of the reasons why I like Final Fantasy 15 so much. But um, other RPGs such as this or the Atelier games or Hyperdimension of Tunia, um, some of them are really over the top, and that's what makes them fun. It's just they're they're so over the top, um, and, and just they're colorful. They're they're bubbly. Some of them, some of them can be pretty dark. Um, but you know, if you've played like, for example, the Disgaea series, the Disgaea series. Um, it is kind of a over the top dark kind of series because you know you're talking about like um, demons and stuff but over the top because the damage that they do is like stupid ridiculous and um, I, I can't find myself to just sit there and grind just to look at the numbers that they dish out in Disgaea There's some people that have like um, some people have like maybe 500 plus hours in those Disgaea games and to me it's just kind of that's, that's a bit too much there. It's a bit too much. Um, so, this is a game. Um, yeah, this is a game itself. PS3 game. PS3. Um, let's see. And then the instruction booklet. So, yeah. There's the instruction booklet. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll get to... I'll get to this game eventually. I will. And then I'll do a review on it once I actually get to it. Um, so that way you know if it's worth it or not. Um, the price, by the way, guys, the price of this, um, when it came out new, it was at $70. I think it's around still the same price for the collector's edition. Um, so, you know, not much has changed as far as how, how much the collector's edition is valued at. Um, so that just goes to show you, like, it's not really a massively sought after game. It's not, um... Which is uh, which is okay. I mean, will I like the game? I have no idea. I hope I do. Um, I like most of Miss America's games, so I hope I do want to get to it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. I've never actually taken a look at these before. Oh, okay, okay. So I get to change the faces on them. I'm not gonna take this out, but yeah, that okay. That's interesting. I get to change the faces and I get to change the arms. Um, I'll, let me see if we can get a good focus on that. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's a little bonus figurines that came with it, um, which I'm always, I'm always down for, uh, always down for bonus figures and stuff like that. Um, I, I like, I like the artwork on, on, you know, on the art books and I love, uh, I love the figures and stuff. Um, which is one of the reasons why I need, uh, I need a freaking, um, display case. Uh, for my figures, so um, so right now I can't uh, I can't display my figures because I don't have a display case. Um, but you know that's that's gonna be the unboxing, guys. Uh, hopefully, I can get around to playing this. I'm I'm like only halfway through Persona Five, um, which that's my main goal is to finish Persona Five. Uh, so, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video, and um, I you know I, I'll do my unboxings you know every other Monday because. Uh, that way I don't run out of stuff to unbox and plus um, that way I can acquire more more games to to go ahead and unbox so thank you guys very much for watching the video if you like the video hit that like button subscribe down below and um, guys you know stay tuned for uh, for live streams stay tuned for more videos and we're on our way to 500 subs guys 500 subs so thank you so much everybody and you guys have a great day